What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to turn that boy rice gum into a Simpson character. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. First thing you want to do, you want to come over here to this pencil tool and you want to click onto it. You want to double click it and you want to move your smoothness all the way up. And then you want to unclick this. You want to move the pixels to, to 20. And you want to click OK to save it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. I like to pick up. I like to start with. You know what? We can start with our little paintbrush first, and we go to a bright color. Bring the opacity down. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a with a sketch of how we want. I we want to lay everything out before we start doing our clean lines. So every picture you draw, you want to make sure you get you a nice little sketch down first. Just wanna just kinda see where you're gonna place everything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all this. We're gonna shrink it by holding shift and all that at the same time while pulling the edges inward. Now that we got the sketch out the way, we finna go back in and we finna do the line work. So what you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and highlight everything again and drop the opacity a little lower. You wanna lock that layer, add a new layer and come over here and get out the color black. Make sure your opacity is at 100%. Now we're gonna do the line work. So we're gonna come over here to our pencil tool because we want our, our lines even. We already set our brush for the pencil tool. Now we're gonna make our line a little thicker. Let's go for it. Let's see what, let's see what four look like. Yeah, that's a good brush is set at the size of our brush is four and come in and make some nice clean lines Okay, now we're gonna go through it and we're gonna make sure all our lines are closed off before we start the coloring process. Okay, now that 
the alarm is closed off. I'm gonna highlight everything. Then we want to go to object, expand, click OK. You want to click merge so we can make all the lines become one again. And now we're going to re retry the process. We're going to make a copy of your line work, lock the top layer, make the color, create the color yellow. I'll just look at. I'm gonna make it a little orangey, just a tad. I'm gonna come over here to our rectangle tool and drag that color over the the line work. And we're gonna right click the color, go to arrange, send to back. Then you wanna, you know if you did that process right, if you look over here and see your line work sitting on top of the color. Now what you wanna do is click off of it and highlight everything, the line work with the color again. And we're gonna click merge so we can make it one with the color. After you do that, you wanna right click onto it, go to isolate, select group. And now we can click and change the colors individually. That's separated. Now what we finna do, you guys, we finna go ahead and add some color to our picture. Feel new. Let's see. Let's see what this do. Okay. We might gonna need that. Let me try something new. That's a nice little tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Come over here to our eyedropper tool, select this color. Then we're gonna find a color just a little darker. I want, I want it to be a little orange to make a good shadow. And we just gonna put it wherever we feel it should go. So I'm gonna come back over here to my pencil tool and as you can see my settings for the shading, we're going to put on our fill new pencil strokes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to trace. Inside the line work. And it's going to fill it in. We're going to try that. Try that one more time. Trace inside your line work. So we can close it off. Okay, that's pretty good. Anchor over some and 
to to click off your anchors without messing it up what you want to do you want to hold control and just click click outside of it This is my first time using this method to shade, so I'm just trying something new. And the great thing about this whole picture, I didn't use my pressure brush, so anyone can get this. Anyone can be able to do this with just, without setting your pen pressure. top of the line work we're gonna go with like a let's see like a color we're gonna go like with an orange orange is red i'll probably just go with red a brownish color we're gonna do the shades and the hair like where the light is hitting it Selected, and we just gonna go around. It don't gotta be perfect. Now that we did that, we're gonna hold Alt, and we just gonna move it around.
there you have it how to turn rice gum into a simpson character if you're new to the channel you already know what to do go ahead and subscribe more heat coming soon thank you guys for your love and support and i'm out this thing